hey guys, my name is sammy and i'm a classical pilates teacher and today i'm just going to show you the leg series that's usually done on the spine corrector, how you can do it on the foam roller at your own house. it's going to work your abdominals, it's going to open up your lower back, it's going to feel really good um, you do, should not ever do it on a high surface we are in the midst of moving overseas and i just don't have space to get the floor so i'm going to do it up here please do it on the floor for you you do need a long foam roller well well i suggest a long foam roller but if you have a short one you might be able to do it anyways let's just get right into it so you lie onto your back with your knees bent and the foam roller underneath and then you're going to lift your hips up and you're going to put your sacrum on top of the foam roller. Now you need to find a good spot for you. It should be opening up your lower back, especially if you're tight in your lower back. Rule of thumb is elevate it and move to really open it up. So this will be great for you. And then you should be able to bring, I probably have to go back a little bit. You should be able to bring your knees into your chest without feeling like you're going to roll off behind you and without feeling like you're straining this way. So you do need to be able to pull your ribs down towards the mat here. Now you'll go heels together, toes apart, starting with your frogs. And when you bend your knees, if your ankles are high, chances are you're going to start rolling your butt up. So just, you know, form check. Let's go for it. Exhale out, inhale in exhale out inhale in. glue those heels together strong don't just touch them really glue them exhale inhale let's go three more really pull those ribs down as you go out and then reach straight up leg circles you pull in circle draw that stomach in and come up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up one more reverse when you do these circles make them as small or as big as you'd like you just want to keep the form exhale lengthen to go down lengthen now you can go into your scissors drawing in and switch and switch and switch switch this is what's going to help build your high scissors and bicycles. Switch, switch, switch. Good. Now both legs can come up and you're going to flex those feet if you can and then just lengthen the top of the foot a little bit. You're going to walk down. So you're going to walk down two, three, four, five, hold up two, three, four, five, hold down two three four five hold up two three four five hold option to point down two three four five hold up two three four five hold let's go eight down eight up no hold down two three four five six seven eight up two three four five six seven eight down two three four five six seven eight and up two three four five six seven eight excellent all right let's go into bicycles so you're gonna go like you did your scissors and you're gonna kick into your butt vigorously kick kick of course if this is one of those pat your head and rub your belly things for you then just keep it wherever whatever you know speed that you need you don't have to do that accent breathe and now go ahead and bring your knees into your chest I gotta adjust a little if you need to you can put your feet down to adjust that's fine too and then you're gonna go ahead and reach your legs up heels together toes apart lower to your working level and just beat those heels eight seven six five four three two one you can stay here or you can lower a little bit more and you can beat eight seven six five four three two one hold lower a little bit only if you can maintain your position and beat eight seven six five four three two one maybe you lower one more inch eight seven six five four three two one and come all the way back up 
Let's go knees into tabletop and let's have both knees fall to one side. Try to keep those knees together and lift the other hip up and come back center. And then again, over to the other side, trying to keep your knees together and up and over. You might feel some trigger points in your hips here. No big deal. Breathe and over and back up. Let's go ahead and bring one foot down, then the other foot and going into a shoulder bridge. You're going to reach one leg, the right leg I'm doing, out and up and then you're going to keep that foot pointed and you're going to kick towards your face, flex the foot, lengthen it out of the hip and draw the stomach in and up, lifting the chest. And again, kick, focus on equal weight on both butt cheeks, kick, flex, reach. And you can also just keep the foot one way if it's too much. Inhale, kick, exhale. Inhale, kick, exhale. Inhale, kick, exhale. One more. And then put that foot down. Other side. Inhale, kick, exhale. So this is my funky side. So you want to find both hips even. Inhale, kick, exhale, out. Inhale, kick, exhale, out. Point, inhale, kick, exhale, out. Inhale, kick, exhale, out. One more. And put it down. Now, option to do that again, and I got to reposition a little bit, or you can now lift your hips. So find equal pressure first, inhale, kick, flex, exhale, lift, try to lift off evenly and lower back down evenly, easier said than done. Inhale, kick, exhale, up, inhale, kick, exhale, up. Inhale, kick, exhale, up. Put that foot down, lower down. All right, other side. Inhale, kick, exhale, up. Inhale, kick, exhale, up. Inhale, kick, exhale, up. One more. And up. Put that foot down and come all the way down. Go ahead and lift your hips up. Take that foam roller out. Roll down upper back, middle back, lower back. Let your spine come back to neutral here. Feel free to hug those knees into your chest. Rock a little bit from side to side. Maybe move your legs, your knees into a circle. Good, go ahead and come all the way up to a seated position. Oh my gosh, I am sweaty, you guys. It's hot. <laughs> Anyways, so if you don't have a spine corrector and you still want to be able to do some of the, the brilliant things that it does for you, like open up your lower back and try to correct some postural imbalances, your next best thing would be the foam roller. They're about $20 on Amazon. I will have this foam roller in the description box below should you want to buy it. And, you know, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Otherwise, you won't be notified of the next thing that comes up that has to do with Pilates. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.